one month into 3D printing and it happened. I've got a problem. A month ago, I got this 3D printer. It's my first 3D printer. And if you didn't see my previous video about it, go ahead and check out that video. I was actually sent this longer LK4X printer so I could test it out and see how easy it was for me to learn. Thanks, Longer. So how easy was it for me to learn this? Well, that takes me back to my opening statement. I think I have a problem. I can't stop printing. Okay, so let's get serious. I have printed all of this stuff and more just in my first month with this printer. And that's with me being gone out of town for almost a week. So essentially, I have printed all of this stuff in only three weeks. I downloaded all of these files for these items for free from either Thingiverse or Printables. I then used the Cura software that came with this printer to slice all of those files. And if you don't know what slicing means, it's basically just how you apply your custom settings to that file before sending it to the printer. During the slicing process, you can control at what temperature your print will actually print at, you can control whether you want it printed on a raft or not. You can even control how much infill is in the actual object. Now you can do a lot more than that, but I haven't. I've just used the basic settings and it has all printed wonderfully with this. I am in a Facebook group for 3D printing and I made a post a few days ago about how many prints I have made with this and how few failures that I've had. I got a response from a gentleman who said he's had his printer for months I don't know what printer it was, but he said he has yet to get a decent print from his printer. I have printed nearly a hundred items and I've had about three failed prints. Yeah, three. Let's talk about those failures. This is my biggest failure. This was supposed to be a Flexi Rexy, something like this, but as you can see, it didn't work. However, I believe this was an issue with my filament and nothing to do with the printer itself. Another failure that happened, I caught early on, so I don't have the failed print to show you, but it just wasn't sticking to the bed. Since then, I've learned that cleaning it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth helps tremendously. Just clean the bed and now everything sticks with no problem. The other failed print that I had was because of a partial clog. I don't know how it happened, but it did. However, I fixed that clog without ever removing the nozzle from this printer. I did a cold pull. The cold pull essentially just means you pull the filament out before it completely heats up. I'll leave a link to the video that I watched to help me know how to do it. And then if I make a video, I'll replace it with my own video. And that's really all of the issues that I've had with printing. Nothing really with the machine at all. All of these items were printed in place which means no assembly or anything was required. It just prints just like it is. You can pick it up and move it, and I think that is awesome. Some of the items I've printed with a raft that you have to peel off, but some of them, I don't even use a raft or any support. That's just too cool. One of my favorite prints is this lithophane, and it looks pretty plain right now, but whenever you put a light behind this, you see a picture of my kids, and my grandbaby, and I think this is just awesome. And multicolored stuff. I designed this in Fusion 360, and then whenever I sliced it, sent it to my printer, I stopped it halfway through the print and changed from the white filament to this blue filament. Now, I'm really excited about this. I wanna try some more multicolored stuff in the future. Let me know in the comments something that you would like to see printed or what you would like to know about next. Thanks for liking commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.